Group president. He's with me from Dublin. Uh, first of all, sir, congratulations um, on being reappointed as Eurogroup president, even though not finance minister of, of Ireland, but congratulations on keeping the job. Now you've got to sort of monitor the, the winds of slowdown, but do you now believe recession is off the cards? Uh, I believe that uh, the significant recession that was forecast for 2023 for the euro area uh, is currently not a likely scenario. But if we've learned anything, Richard, over the last number of years, it's the care with which we need to make forecasts. Uh, we're so aware of the economic consequences of this awful war. But even with that recognition of uncertainty, it is still the case that the euro area and the economy of the European Union has shown resilience in 22 and in 2023 and has a growth right. outlook for this year, which is strong given the uncertainty and security environment that we're navigating our way through. The OECD, of course, their latest numbers does raise some concerns. I mean, within obviously G7 and within EU, France and Germany doing reasonably well, but they're not the engines that will pull everybody else up. Yes, uh, which again points to the need to be confident about making the case that the euro area can navigate its way through these challenges, but also recognising that we still do have challenges. Uh, that will require a policy response. We are seeing other countries now make a significant performance to the performance of the euro area. We're seeing economies like the Greek, the Spanish, the Portuguese, and indeed the Irish economy all make an important contribution to European economic growth. And we need to harness the different engines of economic growth and our strong levels of employment to continue to work our way through the year. There's going to come a point when the question is asked, uh, what is the right rate of inflation that has moving forward? The low hanging fruit has been t cut, if you will. And it's going to come a point where the 2% remains, particularly when you get to 4%. As president of the Euro Group, I, I, you know, I know before you say the ECB sets interest rates, but you do have a view and you obviously see it from a political side versus the purely economic side. Would you be more in favour of a pivot at 3 4%? No, I very much support uh, the um, mandate and the targets that the ECB have in relation to 2%. And the reason why I do is I do believe a figure like that and attaining a level of inflation like that, which will still be a challenge, is also roughly where we need to be to have a level of economic growth within the euro area that is also sustainable and capable, capable of keeping the jobs that we've developed since the pandemic. So I do believe 2% is the right target. I am encouraged by the fact that the era of peak inflation, there are signs that it is behind us in 2022. And even right. though a forecast of 6% inflation for the year, for the year is obviously far too high. It's lower than where we were last year. Uh, a brief one at the end. Um, I see the central bank governor has put paid to the idea that your 12% growth in Ireland was a mirage set up by Americans and, and service providers and IP and actually saying, nope, that Ireland really did grow by that amount. Yes, the point that Governor McAuliffe was making, which is correct, is that there is substance in Ireland that is driving this economic performance. But he also said, that, which is a point I've made for many years, is the traditional measurement of gross domestic product right. is not something right. that is at times the best metric for the economic performance of our economy, given the large FDI community that we have. But our economy is growing. Unemployment has never been lower. We have a budget surplus in Ireland. We're committed to the OECD BEPS process and delivering the minimum effective right. tax rate. The core point that he made is that substance in Ireland is driving our economic performance is correct. And I look forward, sir, over the next two and a half years that you and I will talk many more times as we go through whatever economic uh, heavy waters I'll have to be faced. I'm grateful, sir, as always. Thank you. And